continue to 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 learn that's the main thing learn but that's investing yourself so so continue to learn continue to pour into yourself continue to pour in your glass um and that's that's pretty much the lesson of today um you had again to sum it up you have a glass that's halfway empty or consider halfway full depending on the perspective but the perspective i want you to have the message to my unborn son the perspective i want you to have is that your glass is always halfway full and you can always bring it up to 60 percent full 70 percent full 90 percent full 100 percent full at any time so the the fluctuations of life the ins and outs of life the ups and downs of life don't affect you because you always have a foundation where you're continuously pouring into your glass and pouring into your glass. What I want to talk about today, um, I was actually, this is what some would consider the Sabbath day, um, it's Saturday, uh, Sabido in Spanish, but what some would consider the Sabbath day, this is my Sabbath day and I was actually listening to uh, a preacher talk today and he kind of touched on a thing, something that resonated with me that I kind of want to share. Um, and it's not, this is not going to be preachy so the please don't be turned away. They're not going to be preachy at all. But this is about perspective. So the preacher, and I'm sure everybody's heard this saying before, uh, you have a glass that's either considered half empty or half full. And honestly, everybody I feel everybody's heard that. If you haven't heard that before, now you've heard it. So you have a glass and when you fill it up halfway, some people consider it half empty, some people consider it half full. Felt that you had a glass that was full already, and let's say you drink you drank the glass to halfway. You would consider that glass half empty because you're going towards the bottom of of the glass being completely gone or the contents in the glass be, being completely gone and then you have the other end of the spectrum that I like to think is that the glass is halfway full because as you're pouring into the glass the glass is going from 10% full, 20% full, 30% full, up to 50% full so you're constantly pouring into this glass, constantly pouring into this glass be mindful of how you perceive life it was what I like to say because it kind of, this is why it resonated with me. Be mindful how you perceive life or how you perceive your situation because there are people out here that they considered their glass either half, I mean, full at one point in time and it became half empty and now it becomes a, a burden upon them or a burden to them that life is unfair or life isn't treating them right or life isn't isn't what it's supposed to be and it's it's either their something they did to make their glass half full halfway full by taking it from 100 percent full to halfway full or something somebody else did which from their perspective is something somebody else did that took their glass from full to halfway full um because at the end of the day, it's all about perspective and I really want to enlighten you on perspective. So let's say I were in that situation, my glass became halfway full. Um, I would, you would naturally want to think, okay, how did I make, how, what did I do to make it all the way full in the first place? It became halfway full, maybe this is a test for me to make it full again and make it full even faster. That's a way. That's one of the ways to perceive that. Um, I guess it's harder for me to understand that perspective because I I never come from a background where my glass was full or a silver spoon or any kind of any kind of feeling of entitlement or that I deserve something that I didn't work for. So I always consider my glass halfway full because I'm constantly pouring in, pouring in, pouring in, pouring into my education, pouring into, pouring into um, things that will help me achieve my vision. So as this glass continues to grow, it's going to continue, each, each goal that I hit is pretty much an achievement that I'm, it's a cheer, like, okay, I'm, I'm a quarter way full, I'm a, a third away full, now I'm halfway full. And when I'm 100% 100, 100 full and overflowing, then it's really no 
no take back but if I do so let's say I'm at a hundred percent and take a drink of that glass and go back to halfway full well now I've established a foundation in my life to make that glass full again so the the drawback of my cup now being halfway full or or something happening in my life that feels like it turns up upside down and I'm going through a storm in my life like things won't change or things won't get better well the fact that there was a foundation established to go from 0% full to 50% full to 100% full that's always going to be there because it's instilled that's kind of like what I was um, kind of like with in the Bible when they say building your house on the rocks on the rock um, once you kind of have that foundation you can constantly build that over and over and over again. It could be any situation that you possibly be dealing with. This can this is a parallel universal law. So you'll you'll hear me say this over and over again about parallel laws. Like um, even though the details might be different, even though the situation might be a little different, the the law doesn't change. Invest in other people, continue to make connections towards your vision, towards your goals, and then your glass will never be halfway empty. Maybe you might go through a time, a period of setback, but with the mindset and the humbleness that your glass is halfway full, the setback will seem like, okay, this is a challenge. I take this as a personal challenge to whoever took away 50% of my glass. I take this as a personal challenge to the universe. I can fill this glass back up even faster next time and not even faster is going to overflow next time let's use an example so let's say I don't know when you would be watching this but let's say you were you were you were in elementary school and you know you go you 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 let's say play football or play basketball any sport you play a sport and you're really good in elementary school. You know, you're the fastest kid in that elementary school. Um, I mean, every every recess, if you still have recess at the time, but every recess, you're always first picked because you're the fastest. You 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 know, nobody can catch you. You always score a touchdown. You always score the most baskets. You always uh, make the most goals. Whichever whichever sport it is, but you're always the best at it. So you're the, you're the best at you know your sport. And in, from your perspective, your glass is full. But then there's a there's a time when you know you graduate. You graduate elementary school and it's the proudest day you know of your parents' life. You graduate elementary school, you're going into a to the big to the big person school, you know, um from perspective, and, you know, it's a little person me, but going into middle school, now you're you know, you're like, okay, I'm on top of the world, I'm the I'm the fastest kid, but then you get to the school and there are a few kids faster than you. Well, that kind of again back to universal law and parallels that kind of I would consider that taking 50% out of your glass now your glass is only halfway full it was full it was overflowing in elementary school but now you're in middle school and now your glass is halfway full again well at this point in life you have a decision to make okay the decision is and you're gonna go through this and the, and the goal of this whole vlog is to help you recognize this but you're going to go through this the decision is either be sad and feel like you're not worthy enough to it's my a ring um be to either be sad and feel like you're not worthy enough to um to play at recess or play the sports anymore or to take that as a personal challenge because your glass is now halfway full again when you were in elementary school you work to work your glass up to 100%. So you know how to work your glass back up to 100%. So you work. You invest in yourself. You make yourself faster. You network with the people who are faster than you and learn how they're getting fast and learn the things that they're doing. You continuously pour into your glass until it's full again. Again, this kind of, the whole reason we bring this analogy up is kind of stems into, it stem, it helps put into perspective that not at all times your glass will be all the way full and there will be times where it'll be challenging you'll go into middle school and your glasses would feel like it's halfway full 
but then you have the responsibility of taking that as a personal challenge to the universe like oh you put me in this new situation because at 100% full and overflowing in elementary school it wasn't a challenge to you anymore it wasn't a challenge to you anymore now it's time to graduate now it's time to go to the next level so we're gonna remove we're gonna put you through a challenge put you through some put you through some tough times put you through some some mental mental um mental moments where you you know you feel you feel even depressed you feel like you're not good enough we're going to put you through this because we're going to test you the universe is going to test you to see if you want it and if you want it what you're going to do is naturally reach out and make it happen invest into your glass reach out to the people who are doing fast reach out to the coach if you're on the team reach out to the coaches if you're in the band um you know play you know uh rehearse longer rehearse with the rehearse with the best of the of the orchestra you know just continuously pour into your glass and then when you and then more than likely being my son or being the person who ever follows this more than likely by the time you reach the last year of your middle school you'll be a hundred percent your of your glass again and you'll be the you'll be the most liked kid you'll be the you'll be the you'll feel like your glass is half i mean your glass is all the way full again but then you go through it one more time through high school and it's not one more time because you're going to go through it throughout your whole life but you're going to go through it through high school where now it's even more kids and bigger kids so let's say you play football you were very good in middle school but now you get to high school and you you you're now you're bringing multiple schools together and there are bigger kids at the other school or faster kids at the other school. Now you have to work, your glass went back to halfway full. You have to work twice as hard or just as hard to catch up to, to fill your glass back up or catch up to the best kid. And that's a challenge and you should personally take that as a personal challenge. And let's just take it into, I don't know if you'll be very studious and I hope you will. And if you're not, that's okay too. But I use sports because I feel sports is um, something that a lot of kids see as a way out currently. But let's just take this into um, being studious. Um, your studies. In elementary school, things are uh, you know, considered easy. More than likely, your parents sat down with you when you were younger and taught you how to read, taught you how to taught you how to uh, do addition, multiplication, and pretty much basic arithmetic when you were young. So going into elementary school, you pretty much knew all the elements that you needed to know. So your glass was already full going in. So it was very easy. Okay, now you get to middle school. Okay, your glass halfway empty because now you're being introduced to new content uh, that you never heard of before. Social studies, all of these things that you never heard of before where you actually have to spend time and invest in your glass. Then you again, just like sports, you'll get to where you're comfortable there, and this is co considered easy because now you're learning how to maybe um, taking on novels, reading novels, uh, doing book reports, and things like that. But then you go into high school where your curriculum becomes a little more a little more tedious, where now you have to introduce the time management aspect of things, and that knocks your glass uh, back down. And this is where. If you don't understand this process, this is where people get caught up when they're like, well, forget school. I'm not good at school. It's because they're not understanding that it's purposely set, and this is for life in general, it's pur purposefully set for when you reach a, a plateau, when you, do, when you get to a certain point and it's like autopilot mode and life is good and it's easy, something's gonna come along to knock you down a notch to make sure you're continuously growing or not even knock you down a notch but take the level take the bar up a notch to make sure you're continuously growing and not stagnant not stagnant never be stagnant so again it's really establishing a foundation to continuously grow a lot of uh, I've seen people you know online if on I'm sure online will be a thing, but I've seen people online that, that are like, you know, forget school. Um, there's no purpose. And they kind of miss the, 
the core of school. They miss the core purpose of school. School you will go in and you will learn things that you'll never use in life. Never use in life. Things that you'll forget in life. But that's not the core lesson that you're supposed to learn in school. The core lesson is learn something, retain information, and be able to be agile enough to, when the bar moves above you, reach that new level. Reach that new level and show, I'll dominate at this too. And the bar raises, raises higher, reach that new level. I'll dominate this too, dominate at this too. Until you, even if you reach PhD level, you dominate at that as well. But let's go past PhD level. Let's say you're done with school, you're not doing school anymore. Well, even in life, even if, even if, even without school involved, you should always be trying to reach the next plateau. You should always be trying to advance yourself to reach the next plateau because that is where real um, success lies. Um, currently, I don't know what the what the what things will be like when you're when you're watching this video, but currently. A lot of people are being deceived by material things and attention and missing the elevation of themselves and how to elevate themselves mentally, physically, and emotionally for a bigger purpose. Because material things, kind of going back to the glass, filling up the glass, the material things fade away. They're like, again, again, you're drinking your glass. You buy, you buy this new car, you drunk half your glass. You built, you built up your bank account. You bought this car, you drunk half your glass. You bought this house, you drunk another quarter of your glass. Even though that sounds backward. You bought your house, you drunk half your glass. You bought a car, drunk a quarter of your glass. But then you never established a way to fill the glass up or establish a system to bring more money in. Put more money, put more, put more into your glass to continuous, continuously fill it up. That's where not that's where knowledge comes into play. Because you find these avenues of how to fill your glass up without working as hard to fill it up. And we'll get into that in, in um into into later videos. Always consider your glass halfway full. Continuously pour into your glass and never give up on your glass. No matter how much you know you, you drink out of your glass or somebody drinks out of your glass, continuously pour into your glass until it overflows. Because the more you pour into your glass, the more, the more resources you accumulate to fill your glass up. And it'll fill up that much flat faster. And then as, as the universe and as, as as God sees that your glass is filling up, he will more than likely give you a bigger glass or a bigger jug to fill up. And that's blessings upon blessings. So you know, never consider your glass halfway empty. It's always halfway full and you always, um, you're always striving to fill it up as fast as you can uh, in the most efficient way with a vision towards moving forward or towards advancing yourself. Um, always advance yourself. Um, and never sell yourself short. So again, I just want to wrap this up and leave this here until we find it, um until I come up with another topic. Um but thank you for thank you for spending time and watching this video. Um again, this is a message to my unborn son. I really don't have to thank you cuz you're going to watch it anyway and you're going to live with me and know these things. But again, for any any young man, um, mother who lets their young young sons watch this, thank you for your time and um Again, I hope you're not too critical on my thoughts. Uh, these are my personal opinions. These are my personal thoughts. Everybody else has their own perspectives, own opinions, and you're definitely um, your opinions and perspectives are valued. But for this, for the purpose of this, uh, for this vlog, if you share the same opinion, just hit the like button, um, and I'll continue to make videos and really. I don't want this turning into a platform where it's a back and forth. It's just me sharing what I've learned and the experience that I've learned. And I want to be this to be a positive, continuously positive experience. Um, so 
again don't don't hold my feet to the fire when I might say something that you might not agree with or somebody else might not agree with because it's what I believe it's my perspective so again and I'm continuously learning continuously pouring it's pouring into my glass so um again I would say let the universe work with me and again let the universe work with you as well um but again thank you for your time and uh I look forward to hearing back from y'all soon. Later, y'all.